Trey Ferraro back into the fold. And boy, the scout cam should be on full display tonight, won't they? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of people wearing black jackets. That's what the scouts wear, and they'll be sitting up in the corners of the rink watching these players really closely. Now, they've got a book pretty much on every player by this point in the season, but these are critical games to watch how they'll play against the very best competition. This absolutely will help determine where a player will go in the draft. Oh, I'm sure... Beautiful night for hockey. Let's get ready to go. James Samoski and Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're underway. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Greyhounds move it in. Takes it to the front. And that carries off a stick. Stop that one. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Just wide. Pumped away from danger. Puck picked up by Cardi. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Sharp reaction save. Standing by our own Carlin. Scores! The home team's on the board. Man, that is a textbook start for a home team. Get the early first goal. Make the road guys start to chase you. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Cougars have turned it up to 11 here early with that goal. They told us this morning that they wanted to attack early. They thought that the other team might not be ready for a quick start. Turns out they were right. Moves it to Johnston. Makes the save. Gauthier's able to make the save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. Sault Ste. Marie's got the puck along the wall. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Prince George is going to hold him it against the wall. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. They go on the attack through center. The Cougars looking against the half wall. Handles the puck at the point. The Greyhounds take it along the wall. Sault Ste. Marie's got the puck against the boards. Oh, what a heads up play to poke it away. And that's picked off. The Greyhounds have continually put themselves in good positions defensively tonight. It seems like every shift they're stealing a puck. Can't get a hold of that pass. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Prince George has got the puck against the wall. The Cougars gain possession along the wall. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. The Greyhounds take it across the line. Here's a short pass to Carroll. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Moves the puck. Looks to pass it to Kadura. Can't connect on the pass. Moves it quickly over to Karens. Nice zone entry on the left side. From point blank range. And the puck banks off the glove. Chase right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. The Greyhounds gain control of the puck against the wall. Mackey's got it across the line. Here he is in front. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes the feed. 
sends the pass over. Too much congestion in front. Prince George has got the puck shorthanded. And they get that puck down the ice. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sander. Just wide of the net. Takes the pass. Sault Ste. Marie's ready to go on the attack. Quick feed to Mackey. And the puck skips off the glove. Poked away in the offensive end. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Looking to clear the defensive zone. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. That's gloved by Gauthier. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Boyles recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Cougars take possession off the faceoff. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Hooker's up at the box. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Hooker's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a chance. And he makes the save. Gauthier's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Official signals as he is about to drop the puck. Prince George has won the draw. Can't keep a hold of it. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Johnson's won a big draw on their own end. And they get the puck out. The Cougars have it now. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And not much on that one. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Karen's hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. The Greyhounds win the draw. Trying to get it out of their own end. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Prince George has got it from behind the net. Down the right side and into the zone. And that goes off a player. Find some space in the corner. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. King scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Quick pass to Colina. And he takes a shot. Nothing. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Takes that pass back at the point. That goes off a twig. The Greyhounds, he's got a little jump. Breakaway. Go 
Gauthier's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. The Greyhounds gain possession. And they won't connect on that one. Prince George has got the puck in the defensive end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Cougars gain possession along the wall. Sault Ste. Marie's got possession here in the offensive zone. Big save. Gauthier's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. The Greyhounds gain control of the puck. Sends it over to Putro. Here he is, shot right in front. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Prince George has got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Puck grabbed by Dickinson. And he makes a save on that play. Moves it to Johnston. And that's knocked away. Receives the pass. Here they come on the attack. Slides it across. He scores! They get one and you think that the game's going to flatten out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. Whoa, James, while we're looking at this highlight, the coach is sour that they gave up this man advantage break. But it's beautifully executed, and it's in the net. The Cougars are on fire tonight here in the second. Domination right from the very beginning of the game. This is now an absolute landslide for them. Sault Ste. Marie's gained possession. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Turns it away. And they send it down the ice. Hooker's ready to join the play. And now it's over to Pitlick. The Greyhounds are on the attack. Sends it across. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't. This is what you get. You had lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Oh, look at this chance! Off target! So frustrating. You do all this work, you get it into a good spot, and you don't get it on the net. To the front! And that's blocked away. Oh, what a save with the glove! Gauthier's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Cougars have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Prince George has got a hold of the puck. Great pressure on the offensive end by Dickinson. Prince George is looking to break out. Through center along the wing. Slides the cross-ice pass. stick to knock that puck away into the offensive zone takes the feed at center for the right wing and that doesn't exactly go tape to tape they fight for it along the boards the greyhounds gain control of the puck against the wall Sault Ste. Marie's moving it up the ice and now he moves it quickly to Dickinson Marie's looking to break out of their own end. Handles the puck. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Quick pass across to McLean. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Slides the puck across. And here's the pass to King. Maintains possession. Sault Ste. Marie's got the puck. 
Here's a short pass to Boudreaux. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. King's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Another power play opportunity coming up here. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. The Greyhounds win possession here as we open up the period, and that power play is still intact. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. It's pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Sault Ste. Marie's got the puck along the wall. Scrum and Sue's along the boards. Prince George has got a hold of the puck. Into the attacking area from the left side. Prince George is out front in this game, in large part by the way their second line is playing. The coach is going with a gut feel and the way it looks by getting them on the ice more than anybody else. Picked up along the wall by Kadura. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Perkins going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Ray, you're between the benches. Are you picking up on any of this? Yeah, I, I thought a really good reminder here from the coach to his youngest player is that you're at a point in the game where safety is better than a creative play. Make the right play the smart play. Keep the puck in front of you. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night. The other, not so much. Nice pass. Cutting to the front of the net. Textbook stop by Gauthier. Moves it on over to King. Takes the feed. Here's the pass. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Tries to get the puck to Mackey. The Greyhounds take it across the blue line. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Kings gaining momentum. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Le Carrier's got it against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Karens. Oh, just the wrong side of the post on that one. Trying to beat the goaltender with quickness, but it's wide of the target. He was totally locked in on that play. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Feeds it over to King. And that pass attempt is deflected. Can't find his man. The shift continues. What great pressure. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Takes the feed up ahead. Takes the return feed. The Greyhounds scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to King. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. The Cougars take over on possession. And he comes up with the save. The Greyhounds get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Cardi's exploring options with the puck. Prince George is playing it through center. Here's a shot, comes up with the stop. Taken by Constantinou. Knocked away in the offensive zone. And sends it just out of reach. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, 
The Cougars have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3 0. Angles it over to Johnston. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Kaduras taking it from his own end. Sault Ste. Marie's on the attack. Quick pass to Trot. Back to the blue line. Prince George has got a hold of the puck now. Unable to reach that one. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Here in the late goings of the period, the Cougars are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. Johnson's won the draw. Win the draw after the icing. You possess the puck while they're running around a little bit tired. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Johnson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denied that one. The Cougars move the puck in the defensive zone. Across the line. Takes control of the puck. That's a textbook save by Birkin. And now he angles it across to Johnston. Couldn't complete the play. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Johnson's won it. Moves it to Trot. Fails to find the open man. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Can't hang on after that hit. Feeds the puck over to Deheniak. Here's a short pass to Dickinson. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Gorky's skill on display there. Good save into the corner with it. Gains the zone from the right side. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. And there's the final horn! Well, props to the man with the mask tonight as he gets it done in a big way. Yeah, throwing a shutout up on the board is an awesome thing for a goaltender. You get lots of help in front of you, but you still have to stop the puck. And the tournament rolls on for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you for the next game. Good night. I appreciate the call, Darcy. And no, I, I think it's a good point you make, and I think it was a challenge unfulfilled because you look at how the game was playing out. After we saw that moment on the bench between the rookie and the coach, you know, I don't know if the kid ever got a chance to show what he could do or, or try to deliver the coach's message on the ice, just the way that the game was kind of going at the time. All right, back to the phones we go. We've got Pete in the South Shores. I It's here to talk a little more about what we saw on the ice is Ray Ferraro and Razor. I mean, what does that do for his draft stock? Oh man, it'll uh, it'll put a rocket to it if he continues to play in this tournament like that. The scouts are going to get more and more interested. Also, a little more jittery as they might have had a player slotted in a certain area of the draft. He plays like that. He's going to jump a couple of spots in the draft for sure. This is really an important start to the tournament for him. Yeah, and this is where kind of all of a sudden the, the, the stocks kind of rise and fall here, right?